Man United are in shambles right now. Once known as one of the best football clubs in the world, 20-time Premier League winners, 12-time FA Cup winners, and 3-time Champions League winners. But what has gone wrong at Man U the last decade? The question should really be what hasn't gone wrong for Man U. In the last 10 seasons, they've hired and fired 8 different managers. What? They've managed to spend over 1.4 billion euros on players. Things were looking up for Man U when Ten Hag took over. They were playing phenomenal under him. He's a great manager, but he made a terrible mistake. He let the greatest striker of all time walk out on him. Ooh. The quote-unquote problem at Man United, Cristiano Ronaldo had 39 appearances, 24 goals, and 3 assists. Man U haven't had a striker of this caliber since Van Persie in 2012. And his replacement is Wout Weghorst, the striker that never f***ing scores. I don't give a f if I pronounce that wrong. When he scores 20 plus goals in a season, I'll say his name right. Overall, Manchester United's a great team. They have plenty of talent in every position. Manchester United have been searching for their manager and their identity for some time now. And it seems Ten Hag has right their ship, as Manchester United have had a stellar season so far. They've won the EFL Cup in February and will face Manchester City in the FA Cup final. They're also currently fourth in the Prem with 63 points right ahead of Liverpool. Ever since Ferguson left Manchester United, there's been Mourinho, Van Gaal, Giggs, Moyes, just to name a few to try and keep Man U at the top of the football world. While there have been successful seasons since, no Champions League finals have been met. There's been no European glory, which was sought after as a given for Manchester United. The top English teams became Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, and Man U have become an afterthought nearly a decade since they've been relevant. This leads into the question, is it time for Man U to move on from David De Gea? He is in the lead for the Golden Glove with 15 clean sheets, but it feels as though his mistakes are always when it matters the most, not when they're 5-0 up, but when they need to win a game to secure European football. 